Hey brawlers, oh my review passed a thousand views! Neat! Let's back and talk! Bakugan is a game that takes whatever playstyle and characters you like and puts it into a competent build for you to start playing. No matter how much you splice it, there is some Bakugan that will be doomed to a specific role. Orlis Hydronite will always be in Fire Fists, Darkest Tertonium and Pyrus Holocore will always be in Fury, and Matt here will always be funnier than Whoopi Goldberg. This is not a discussion. But with the new things like fusions coming out, it's nice to have a little bit of time out of deck building to find out what these things really do. Speculation is fun! Will this Bakugan be powerful? What decks will they be in? And more importantly, how many times do I get to watch my friends get f***ed by another elephant? But with every new Bakugan, we always got a remnants about the good old ones. And when I say good, I don't just mean gameplay, but also pleasing with the eyes. Phaedrus is one of the most fun Bakugan I think I've played with. Design-wise, she's amazing with great detail clearly based on the Chinese dragons. And she beats Fang, Zor, and Lang by an inch. Remember when we thought that her ultra was Tico? I remember. Though, has this ever happened to you guys? What? Not to mention gameplay-wise, you can slip Phaedrus into any deck and you'll probably be okay because all of Phaedrus' forms, whether core or ultra, their stats are pretty good. Her Auralus is a little pathetic, and the Pyrus and Aquas are a bit exclusive, but whatever. One of the noteworthy evils she's got though is her Aquas form. If she wins, she can retract an open Bakugan, meaning if Phaedrus stops the last Bakugan you need for a team attack, she can make your attempt at it take longer. And I'm sure I'm not the only one sad that her darkest ultra form is exclusively a diamond. Have you seen the molding we would have gotten? I want this one, not that one. Phaedrus is alright. She can slip into any deck and you will probably still win. She's good but not competitive. If you're indecisive or short a third Bakugan, she can be like a Mantanoid and just be the third Bakugan you need to play. And sometimes you may love looking at her. In conclusion, she ain't strong, but she's awesome. Thank you for watching this episode of Bakutalk Analysis. Also guys, since I'm trapped at home and you guys enjoyed my review video, I'm thinking of doing reviews for each episode of Armored Alliance. Let me know if you guys want to see those. I got some cool ideas in mind. Press the like button and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and that was Phaedrus. Bye!